Hello, and welcome to St. Thomas Aquinas College News. I'm Liz Kaminsky. And I'm Matt Cavallo. St. Thomas Aquinas College News is produced in our very own Stack TV News Studio. And now Liz with the week's top story. Thanks, Matt. In this week's top news, further details of the Westgate Mall shooting in Nairobi, Kenya have been disclosed. The attack, which happened on the 21st of September, involved Islamic militants who held the mall under siege for four days, killing at least 67 people in the process and wounding over 200. There is said to have been five attackers. Since the shooting, store owners have finally been allowed back on the Westgate Mall premises. Not only are owners finding their storefronts and merchandise riddled with bullet holes, but they are also finding much of the more expensive merchandise missing. According to NPR, shop owners reported items such as Rolex watches, diamond jewelry, and mobile phones looted, and alleged that the Kenyan military soldiers are responsible. Until recently, the Kenyan military has been hailed as heroes by the people of Nairobi for handling this intense situation. But now, their image may be tainted. The people of Nairobi are also dealing with the question of why it took four days for the Kenyan military to defuse the situation. The president of Kenya, Aruhu Kenyatta, has vowed an investigation into the security intelligence lapses surrounding the Westgate Mall incident. In other news, disarmament specialists have arrived in Syria to begin the overseeing the destruction of Syria's chemical weapons. These 19 inspectors have been endorsed by the UN Security Council to verify that Syria holds to the resolution created earlier this month. Now over to Matt with his, with his story. Thanks, Liz. Yesterday, President Obama called a meeting at the White House with congressional leaders in an effort to end the shutdown on the federal government. President Obama invited Majority Leader Harry Reid, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, Speaker John Boehner, and Democratic Leader Nancy Pelosi to the meeting. A White House official stated, the President will urge to pass the Clean CR to reopen the government and call on Congress to act the raised debt ceiling to pay the bills we have already incurred and avoid devastating consequences on our economy. On Tuesday night, the House called up three bills that would have returned funding to the delayed veterans' benefits, close national parks and memorials, and even give the District of Columbia the permission to use local revenue to continue operation. Republicans planned to bring up the three bills again during the meeting Wednesday, but this time they decided to use a procedural rule that will only require a simple majority. Republicans have also decided to add two more bills to bring up. These two bills will fund the National Guard reserves and as well as scientific research during the shutdown. We have to wait and see what the results of the meeting, but for now, Congress remains in neutral. Now over to Craig with entertainment. Thanks, Matt. In recent news, the Breaking Bad series finale has certainly been through the roof of view records. This certainly is known as the game changer for underdog TV shows. The records have jumped from 5.9 million views when the season 5 aired, 6.4 million views in the middle of season 5, and an astonishing 6.6 .6 million by the end of the season. AMC charged a whopping $400,000 per 30 second commercial during the finale. It has been the highest traffic series throughout television history. In other news, Khloe Kardashian has been going through a nasty so-called divorce involving drugs and addiction. Must run in the Kardashian family. With Lamar going off rails and a recent drug addict battle, he has been partying with some mistresses and leaving Chloe in the dust. Chloe just released a statement saying she's ready to pull the plug just after their fourth anniversary. Now back to, now back to Liz and Matt for some Stack Campus news. Thanks, Craig. So upcoming next Wednesday for Stack is the Stack Safety versus Students Basketball game. That's right, Liz. The game will take place Wednesday night in Aquinas Gym between 8 and 10. So all of you students who are looking to give a little payback to security, come out to the Campus Safety versus Student Basketball game. <laughs> now over to Kira for this week's local news. Thanks, Liz. In our local news, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie wants to block the state's upcoming legalization of same-sex marriage. He justified this with saying New Jersey would suffer irreplaceable harm if same-sex marriages are allowed without input from the state's highest court. Chris Christie administration asked Judge Mary Jacobson to delay the completion of her ruling that would legalize gay marriage. If granted, the rule would may postpone marriage equality from kicking into effect on October 21st. Judge Jacobson argued with saying, same-sex couples must be allowed to marry in order to obtain equal protection of the law under the New Jersey Constitution. 
Though they don't agree with Christie's appeal, New Jersey Democrats urge the state Supreme Court to fast track the case. If the court decides quickly in favor of Jacobson's ruling, same-sex couples won't have to wait longer than October 21st to enjoy full marriage equality. Now back to Ma Matt and Liz. Thanks, Kira. So now let's talk about the world of sports, Liz. Looks like no football teams uh, did well this past week. That's right, Matt. The Giants and the Jets both lost. The Giants were 0-4 an and the Jets are 2-2, two and two, making the Jets the best team in New York now. Wow. <laughs> baseball teams didn't fare no better this week as there are no baseball teams in the playoffs this year. No local baseball teams. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us at Stack News. I'm Liz Kaminsky. And I'm Matt Cavallo. See you next time.